a quick unboxing sort of of LED related items. Uh, first is an LED light bulb, 100 watt for a dollar. 100 watt equivalent for a dollar. I thought that was pretty amazing. It's not dimmable. I'll look at that later. I bought a little tiny camera. Finally came in. And I'm working on my security cameras right now, so it's kind of interesting to see if I can use this in the same way I use my other cameras. So that'll be something to play with. I also bought an infrared light, and this is for my security system as well. I've got infrared lights outside, and I've got a black and white camera, high sensitivity camera outside. But the uh, IR LEDs I have out there really don't do a whole lot. The camera came with a little adapter too, that was kind of cool for how cheap it was. Then I also have this 22 watt circline bulb replacement, LED bulb replacement. And this one uses the existing ballast. I was tempted to get one that you need to rewire, so I'm not sure the ballast is good on the fixture I'm going to put this in, but we'll see how that goes and how it looks. Anyway, the failure mode in this, it does light the filaments. But even if I let them go for a while and really heat the tube up, it just won't trigger. And I've tried holding the tube upside down and doing that and keeping my hand on the thing and doing that. I just can't get to light up what I do. So I'm wondering if the ballast is actually broken, in which case this bulb probably won't work. This replacement LED bulb, because it needs the ballast. But I've got other lights I can use it in. And there she goes, it's quite bright. The color looks pretty good. Better light quality. Oh, it looks pretty good. I wish I had a chart, one of those charts you can check lights with to a degree. But yeah, it's brighter, at least it's bright if not brighter than the original. Very bright, and it worked, no problem. Red's maybe a little muted, not too bad. Here's my Chinese uh, generic memory card. <laughs> That's another story. We'll see if it works, we're using it right now. So not bad, trouble free, bright, not too bad of a price. I bought it at Dublin General Store, which is not a bargain outlet, and it was only about 12, 13 bucks, which is about what I saw online for uh, new fluorescent tubes. I've been thinking what a good idea this light is, putting this LED bulb in with no need to rewire the ballast, but I'm having second thoughts. It uses about 15 watts. I'm gonna verify that in a minute, see what it actually measures. But it's supposed to take 15 watts, replacing a 22 watt or so. It's not that big a gain in efficiency. The uh, head does get warm. Not quite as warm as the fluorescent head did, but nearly. It's kind of a hot area down here. But what I've discovered is the uh, ballast is getting quite hot. I got kind of a smell in the room now. I had it off for a few minutes, but 100 degrees. 101, 102 right there. 102.5, 103. So that's in a room that's only a uh, 67 degree room, so it's quite a temperature rise. So I don't know, a little bit of smell in the room too, like a hot ballast smell. So I don't know if this is going to work. And if I did get the type that you have to rewire the, you know, bypass the ballast basically, it'd probably be a lot more efficient than 15 watts. You know, it's probably only going to be about 5 or, you know, probably 7 or 8 watts. I don't know. Uh, something to think about. See how long this last. So we're right about at 120 volt. It's pulling 23 watts. That includes the ballast. So that's not that bad. The VA, however, is quite a bit worse. So the power factor is pretty bad. Uh, 60 hertz. The power factor is 0.4 roughly. So not terrible. I'm a little concerned about the, uh, you know, ballast getting hot when it's been on all day. It's cold now. Hasn't been on that long. I don't know if it's something I want to leave on long term. Like when I'm not here or something, you know, I'm not going to leave it on and when I'm on vacation or something. So, I have my doubts. I may just, uh, I have to re-lamp another one of these fixtures. I may just uh, get the kind where you pull the fixture out. I think I'd recommend that. Pull the ballast out. Okay, 120 volts, a little more. It's a different fixture, but it's the same, exact same model fixture with the original fluorescent light in it. There is some heat from the light. About what I had off the other one, the LED. But at least so far, this is cold. The ballast isn't getting hot. Really doesn't seem it's not getting warm yet. I'll leave it on for a little while. Not for about half an hour though. And let's see what it does for wattage and stuff. Power factor is only 0.5, so it's going to have a real bad, just like the other one. 23 watts, 46 watts. So kind of like the other one. I think this one actually had a bigger number here. 
24 watts, 46 volt amps. Okay, it's been burning for a few hours now. Temperature's still not that warm. It's, I mean, it's warm to the touch, barely. Not how the other one was. I'm going to switch the bulb, put the LED bulb out here, because I believe it's brighter. You need the brightness here more than you need it at the desk. And I've made the switch, and it's remarkably brighter. Oops, memory card is funky. So I switched bulbs, put the LED in here. It is quite a bit noticeably brighter. Way noticeably brighter. It's not even that bright, so they're getting kind of old. Maybe that's part of it too. It might not be at its peak brightness. The LED is certainly much brighter. However, the power usage is a little bit higher. The VA is higher and the watts are one higher. So I'm going to run a little while, see if this gets hot like the other one did. As for the 100 watt LED bulb, it's a very nice light. Real nice white, daylight type white. Nice white balance. Not too uh, bluish or harsh. Very bright. It's a lightweight bulb too. It's not so heavy. I I had this other fixture up here, and I had this heavy bulb in it. That bulb weighs quite a bit less, which is no trouble at all for this fixture. I put a different fixture up, put it up higher. A little better lighting for the bench here. And this bill is getting a little bit warm. Now that I've had it running with the LED for about an hour, probably not even an hour. And it's pretty cold in this room. That's more or less the ambient temperature. And you can see this one's 110. But yeah, it's pretty hot here. It's been on a few hours. LED, other fixture, and I verified that the tube that was originally in the other fixture where the ends just glow, but it never lights up, it does the same thing in this fixture. This 100 watt bulb has been burning all day. It's only a little bit warm in the fixture, not too much at all. It's a pretty well vetted fixture, a good one for this, should be. But it's got a real nice neutral light. Looks like it has a good spectrum from what I can tell. So I'm going to see how this does on the oh, 12 watts. And it said it was 14, so that's a little less than spec. 20 for VA. So the power factor isn't great. So I rebounded the bracket for the new illuminator. And I had some old infrared bulbs here. IR LEDs weren't too effective. Some more somewhere else. To the eye, I can only see a real faint glow, and in bright white light, I can't see a glow at all. It gets washed out. But in this dim light I'm in right now, I can see just dim red glow on all these LEDs. Or here's in the camera, obviously, it looks like it's purple. Okay, I'm in a dark room. It's a green LED across the room, I can't quite see it. And here's the IR unit. Not illuminating much for me with this camera. Not the results I hoped for, but hopefully with the other camera I'm going to be using a black and white camera that's got extra sensitivity for night vision. Hopefully it lights up a lot better with another camera with my black and white outdoor high sensitivity camera. It's not doing too well with this camera, which isn't made for infrared. I actually has an infrared filter, so that's part of it. But that'll be for a future episode when I get working on the cameras. And I'll show this again with, with the black and white security camera.